Hey guys, Repairman here, here to repair your builds. Now I got another rework of Chroma now that uh, energy conversion is out and new auroras are out. We're going to go and throw on another Forma and go with the eight Forma Chroma builds, a whopping eight Forma. Every slot is Forma, the, even the Exos slot, and remove the Aurora polarity. So, after you've gone and thrown in your formas necessary to get this build, now we have enough room to throw on energy conversion. Because our last build, we had, instead of energy conversion, we had intensify. So you have that 299 power strength. You know, it's great and all, but instead of 30% power strength, we can get 50 as long as we get energy orbs every time before we cast the ability, bringing the power strength up to... 319. Now we also have the new Aurora polarity, Aurora called Growling Power, adding an extra 25% power strength with status. Of course, there are some glitches with that, but if you don't mind still using that, even with the glitches, you'll get an extra 25%, and that'll bring you up to 344% power strength. And if you happen to have three like-minded teammates that remove the Aurora polarity or just happen to have a checkmark polarity throw on growling power you can get that all the way up to 419 percent power strength now that is some serious power strength you can do some serious damage with that just with the energy conversion alone without growling power you're gonna see almost nine times the damage with your weapons up to 10 with those with that growling power maybe a bit over once you have all the rest of the teammates all throw on that growling power too now your armor phenomenal amount of armor with this you're looking at about 14,000 armor on this build you have arcane grace you're building that health back what little is being taken away. Of course it scales that are staggers off as you get higher and higher with that uh, armor, but if you're a Chroma fan like I am, you can never have too much armor. Anyways, without further ado, that's that. And of course I love using that with the Mprex. It hits a bunch of enemies. The Mprex, as it is, already does massive damage to many enemies with six format, as you've seen in my other videos. And the Axomani, one of the most powerful secondaries in the game, takes a whopping seven format, but that thing is crazy, which you'll see in one of my other videos. And the Glaive Prime, so that you can throw that at the ground after you cast your third ability, so that way you can get that armor and damage bonus way up there right away without having to wait for enemies to hurt you. You can also use primary or secondary self-damaging weapons, but I don't really use my melee weapon too often with Chroma, and that works great, that weapon just right like that. And hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, hope you guys love the Chroma build as much as I do. I also note too that uh, I also throw my other arcane I throw on arcane barrier so that way when you're in really high level missions and they're just bombarding your shields don't have time to regen those shields so you can get that armor bonus from the shields being damaged up there it'll fully restore your shields and then you can get that armor bonus more quickly that way until next time you guys have a good one keep those formas cooking keep those builds going